Your blood has healing components such as these platelets, as well as growth factors and nutrients, as well as plasma. These can be concentrated down and injected into damaged knees, the rotator cuff and shoulder, the elbows such as tennis elbow, the hands and the wrists, even the spine, cervical, thoracic and lumbar, as well as pelvis and hips, and the TMJ. At Gecko, we also use Honey Matrix, which can make PRP work better. In some cases, we consider adipose stem cells because fat has such a high population of stem cells. Using the stem cells from bone marrow is also very powerful along with PRP. Gecko is one of the first clinics to actually offer bone marrow and adipose combined together in the same treatment. At Gecko Joint and Spine, we can both diagnose your problem as well as guide our injections to precisely the right area using high definition ultrasound. I'm going to be describing some technical aspects of biology tonight. I'm going to be talking about some really, really cutting edge um, revolutionary healthcare model aspects of healing the body through regeneration versus managing symptoms with medications and such. Um, I truly believe that this is really going to be the future of how we're going to care for ourselves. And I think after tonight you're going to kind of see that as well. Um, I'm also going to be sharing some personal stories um, of my personal journey and my experience with um, some injuries I've had with uh, treated with stem cells and platelet-rich plasma. I'm going to be describing all of these things tonight. So we call it PRP, and platelet-rich plasma is where we take your blood and spin it down, and it takes it into a few layers. And we take the layer that has all of the platelets, and we're able to put that into an injection. So let's talk a little bit about how your body naturally heals itself, because it's going to make a lot more sense when we kind of break it down that way. When we get an injury, whether we break a bone or we tear skin or we sprain our ankle, there's going to be bleeding that occurs into that tear, okay? And that blood is going to become a blood clot, all right? That blood clot, we don't think about it like that, but it's a graft. That's your body putting down a graft. So what's in that blood clot, if you look behind you, you have this painting here. I actually painted that in 2013. It's a painting of a blood clot. And we used to call our clinic gecko joint and spine, thus you have our little friend on the left. It's a little gecko. <laughs> so if you look at this painting, those are red blood cells, pretty obvious. The little dots, are they're purple dots, those are the platelets. And then that spaghetti-like material there, that's fibrin, okay? Mm -hmm. So fibrin is really key because that's the scaffold that the body uses. That's what keeps all that together. And if you were to get in there and grab a blood clot, it would kind of feel like a really hard gelatin. So it's like, it's solid. It turns into like a solid piece. So once that happens, there's chemicals that are released that cause these platelets to open up. And the platelets are a whole big package full of growth factors. That's what there are. Platelets are not there to clot, they're there to heal. People think about platelets like you need platelets in order to form a clot. They're there so that when that graft forms, that enough growth factors are released, and these growth factors attract stem cells into the, that graft, okay? And those stem cells lodge themselves in that graft, and then there's a bunch of different types of growth factors. Some of them are ones that attract the stem cells into the graft. There's other growth factors that are in there that are going to tell the stem cells, start to multiply. So you think about the growth factors are kind of like, they're like the sergeants. The stem cells are like the foot soldiers. They're kind of like, they don't know what to do unless they're told. So the growth factors, there's the hundreds of different kinds of growth factors that tell the stem cells different types of things like turn into cartilage, turn into hair, turn into eyeball, turn into liver turn into tendon, right? turn into skin. These are all signals that come from the growth factors and the growth factors recognizing what's around it, the different stresses that the, that the graft has are going to dictate how this is going to heal. So now that we kind of understand this, we're going to look at, this is the, the Holy Trinity of Healing. 
In order to have healing, we're going to need stem cells, we're going to need a scaffold, and we're going to need growth factors. We need all three of those in order to get a good healing. Okay. So tissue scaffolding, could you imagine trying to build a house with just drywall? Wouldn't work, would it? It would cr crumble. So this is the same thing with tissue, is we need a scaffold. So typical platelet-rich plasma is where we spin the blood down, and the plasma kind of looks like milk. It's got the consistency of milk, right? And we'll take the growth factors, which is this line right here. It's called the Buffy coat. And we'll take just enough of the plasma in order for us to make the injection to the certain spot that we're looking for. Like if we're doing a finger, we're obviously going to have a much smaller volume than if we're going to, say, do like a pelvis and a spine where we're going to have multiple areas or a shoulder or something, okay? So we volumize it with the plasma with something called Honey Matrix, which is an evolution to platelet-rich plasma that's only available here at Advanced Rejuvenation, is we take the plasma and we take water out of it. So we devolumize it to concentrate that spaghetti-like material so that when we put that graft in, it's a tighter woven grafting material. So it holds stronger and you have a better result. This, this area of medicine is, is really just amazing. <clears throat> However, the responsibility that a physician would have to provide this therapy for you without properly diagnosing and being able to get this substance to the exact spot is critical because it can make or break whether the treatment works. I like to tell my, my story that really got me solid into this business of regenerative medicine was an, a, a wrist injury. <clears throat> and um, I was paragliding in Hawaii and I fell, probably almost killed myself, came down on a rock on my hand like this and my hand was all cut up, my arm was cut up, but my wrist, it never stopped hurting. and. We had been doing some regenerative injection treatment in our office, but it was very early on in those days. And I had a doctor um, that was working for me, and he did some injections in my wrist, and it didn't really work. And so we were kind of trying to figure out what was going to work and what it was going to what was going to work for. And so the injections I was getting in my wrist were with the blood, with the platelet-rich plasma, and I had two of them, and they they helped temporarily. Shortly after, <clears throat> we were all at a conference in Naples, and this was a, a seminar where a lot of doctors go to learn, you know, from all over the world they come, and experts that are doing regenerative medicine go there to teach. And at the end of this seminar is a practical where doctors will actually get treated as patients and we'll all watch. <clears throat> and so I volunteered myself, and I really didn't expect anything, but I figured it was worth a shot, right? So they called me to the table, I go to the table, they had my blood prepared, <clears throat> and there was a man there at the table, and he had a machine that looked just like this back here. This is a high-definition ultrasound machine. And he started to scan my wrist, and he started to name off these different ligaments, and he said, well, also this triangular fiber cartilage, big piece of cartilage in there, there's a big tear in it. And I, he showed me, and I could see it. And it's in real time. And then so he called the doctor to the table and he guided her right into where the, where the damage was. And I was really impressed. I mean, just that was impressive alone. What was even more impressive is within like three weeks, my wrist was perfect and I haven't had a problem since. Mm -hmm. And it was that experience because, you know, when you're in it and you actually have that for years, that type of injury, and then it's healed just like that, you just get it at a level that is hard to get if you read a textbook. And so I got it and I really saw that this is the future of medicine, <clears throat> is to be able to guide these, especially with orthopedics, if you can guide these things into the right spot, the technology just keeps on getting better and better with stem cells. So high definition ultrasound. So after that experience, I decided that I wanted to become the best ultrasound you know, sonographer ever, right? So I went to every class I could possibly go. 
And what was even more amazing is when I had that experience in Naples, the gentleman that did the, the, the scanning was an expert sonographer who was also a chiropractor. So I could really see that there could be a really good team with being able to diagnose and guide these injections with the right medical staff. For more information about these exciting regenerative therapies, you can find us at advancedrejuvenation.us. You can also contact us by phone at 941-330-8553 or email us at info at advancedrejuvenation.us. If you found the information on this video helpful, please like us and share us on Facebook. You just never know whose life you might touch. Well, thanks for joining us. And remember, if healing is possible, consider it to be within your reach. Bye for now.